Look at this channel, just 11 videos and it now got more than 371,000 subscribers. And the most popular video alone already got more than 388 million views. Yes, it's millions. And it's just a very simple video. Let me show you. It's just a cute cat trying to trap a little mice. It doesn't even have any background music. So we have just made a very simple NAM workflow that can easily generate similar videos like this. And I think the reason why this kind of video can get viral is that people are actually anticipating the little mice to be trapped. And so that's why the audience would tend to watch longer. And as long as it's able to catch the audience attention, it's a good video idea. And that's why I would like to share this with you all so that you can steal this workflow for your own before it's too late. And I'm going to break it down step by step in this tutorial so that you can generate thousands of videos like this all on autopilot. And the best part, no code at all. Just drag and drop. If you're new here, my name is Andy and I share easy to sell AI automation system like this every single week to help you kickstart your AI agency and quit your 9 to 5 job to pursue your dream. The full template is available in our community. You can just download this and, and import to NN easily. And if you want one-on-one -on -one help getting this running or you want technical support, we've got you covered there as well. All right, so let's dive into the notes and I'll show you exactly how each part works so that you can customize it for your own workflow. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let's do a schedule trigger note run on the schedule so when we click this we can see the trigger rules trigger interval days between triggers trigger at hours trigger at minutes it is for this trigger interval for days and besides days when we click this drop down menu we can see seconds minutes hours weeks months etc for example if we choose seconds we can choose seconds between triggers so as the minutes and for example uh, we just use days and if you use days you can actually choose specific hours for example 1 a.m 2 a.m etc so let's do this as an example then we can click test up for beginners here you can see this is the configurations and the right hand side it is the output you can click test up and then you can see this is the output and you will see note executed successfully on the right hand side and you can see this green check mark Next, we can add a LM chain, basic LM chain. And this time we are going to use this as the image prompt generation. Okay, you can see this. When we hover over this, you can see no node connected to record input model. So this part, we can click add and then we can use open router chat model. For beginners here, you can see on the left hand side is input again in the middle part is the configuration and then on the right hand part is the output and this time we are going to use open router so we'll go to open router.ai and then after you register go to keys create api keys and then version 2 for example create copy and go back and click this drop down menu create new credential then just paste the api key here is that easy all right because we have created already so we don't need to add one more then for model we can choose just gvd for all mini then next after we set up the model we can see there's no more error here but we may need to actually choose this when we click this drop down menu, we will need to choose define below for the prompt. As for the prompt message, we can click expression, enlarge this, and that's where we can actually paste or input our prompt. So as I have already prepared the prompt, and paste it here, okay? So let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. Generate a detailed prompt for an AI image generator. The subject is a tabby cat. It is cleverly setting trap to a mice with a cheese. For example, like a kitchen cleaner, basket, mouse trap, bow. The setting should be a cozy home environment like kitchen, living room, or study room, etc. In a natural photographic style with realistic lighting. The lighting should be a bright morning scene with strong 
cozy sunlight. Give me the image prompt directly with text title and explanation. And this is the example output image prompt. All right. Uh, of course, you can just customize it and turn it into a different style. You don't necessarily use the cat. You can also use another different uh, animals as well. So that's it. We can click test step. Great. So we can see the prompt here. And then actually we can rename it to image prompt generator. Then next we are going to use that prompt to generate an image with an image model. And this time we're going to use OpenAI's GPT image one model. And we are going to call this API using this HTTP request node because we cannot use it within um, the OpenAI node in NN yet. So we need to use this HTTP request. And this time we're going to use a post method. And then for the URL, it's this one. OpenAI.OpenAI.com slash v1 slash images slash generations okay because we are going to generate an image then for the authentication we will choose um, predefined credential type we'll choose open ai then we can actually create a new credential and for open ai's account it's very easy you can just go to the api platform of open ai just copy the api key and paste it here and you don't need to change anything else Again, as we have created that before, we can just use this, okay? Then we need to enable this send body. Keep it the same, JSON as the body content type, but under this specified body, we are going to use JSON, okay? We can click expression, enlarge this. Again, as I've prepared that for you guys, you can just copy this and paste it here. You can see the model we are using is called GPT image one and the prompt we are just going to drag and drop like this but remember to add this quotation mark okay quality we choose high and this is the size because we're going to make a short video so this is the um, resolution or dimension for this image and on the right hand side you can see the result here okay so that's it nothing else we can click test out Okay, it's ready. You can see the node contains 3.5 megabytes um, of data. Displaying it may slow down your browser temporarily. So let's not show the data for now. We can see that anyways in the later part. All right. So next, what we are going to build is that we are going to convert that file into a, an image file. And then we're going to store it to Superbase. So first of all, we need to click and choose convert convert to file we're going to convert JSON data so we are going to use this move base 64 string to a file then what we need to do is that we can just drag and drop this part okay we are going to convert that okay and then nothing else we can click test step okay we can click view for the file Okay, so you can see the cat, this is a trap, and this is the little mice, okay? All right, next, after we have converted the file, we are going to upload and store it to Superbase. We are going to add another HTTP request node here. And this time, we're going to use post method, okay? And I've prepared the URL for you guys. Copy this. Is it here but it's a very big but we need to change something accordingly first of all we go to superbase first all right after you have registered and signing you can actually create a new organization so i've created one and then create a new project and this is mine next what we are going to do is go to project settings and then data api project url copy this then replace this part okay to your own project url then next we are going to replace this part public bucket name so we go to storage new bucket and then cat versus rat remember 
enable this public bucket. It's very important. Okay. Let me copy this and save. Then we are going to change it here. And for the rest, you can just keep it the same. Okay. Then for authentication, we will choose the predefined credential type, which is Superbase API. And then for this part, we can actually create a new credential. For host, basically it's again, project settings, data API, copy this and paste it here. For the service row secret, we can actually go to API keys, this is the one, refill, then copy here. Okay. As I've created this before, so I can just use mine. All right. Then we need to enable this, send body. And this time we're going to choose NNN binary file. And then we just need to input the data field name, which is data. We can just input data okay. and nothing else okay we can just click test step nice we can rename this to upload to super base is for image storing all right next we are going to generate the video from that image that we generated with opening i gpt image one model so we are going to use Minimax to generate a video from the image. We are going to use another HTTP request node. Okay. Then we are going to use post method this time. This is the URL that we are going to choose. So this is the URL for the Minimax model. So we can actually go to fail.ai. You can register. Then you can search for Minimax image to video okay so basically we're using this model and they cost 0 0.5 dollars per video and you can see this is the actually path for using this model fell AI minimax video 01 image to video which is the same as this one then for the authentication we're going to choose generic credential type and then this time we're going to use header auth and what we're going to do we're going to click create new credential first of all for the name we can actually copy this authorization okay let me copy the better authorization paste it here for the value we are going to add key and then space and then your API key. So basically it's yes. click expression, key, space, and then add your API key. So for your API key, you can go back to file and then your account and then click API keys, add key. Okay, name it and then after you create a key you can paste it here okay remember along with key space and then your API key okay again as we have created this before so I don't have to create that again you can reuse it many many times as well just keep using the same fail account then we are going to click enable send body and this time again we're going to use JSON and I've prepared the JSON for you guys as well so you can actually copy this okay wait should be here expression this okay and let me explain it a little bit first of all this part it must be your super base project URL so if it is not matching yours, please make sure it is. Okay. So make sure it is the same. Okay. 
because it's calling the image URL that you stored. Okay. Okay. So let me replay this part. Actually, it's the same. Make sure that this is the same. Okay. Then for the later part, you can just remain the same because we're just using this part. Okay. Just referring to this key. It's the path that where we stored the image on Superbase. And this is the aspect ratio. That's for short. So we have 9 to 16. For the problem, we just use static camera, which is the simplest way. Then, nothing else. We can just click test step. Okay, note executed successfully. So we can actually name it image to feed you with minimax. Next, what we are going to do is to add a wait note because it may take some time for minimax to generate video from the image. So we can actually add a time up here, five minutes for example. And then we click test up. So it will be completed after five minutes. Okay. All right, it's done. So we are trying to get the video from Fell AI again. So we are going to use HTTP request. Previous note, we used post method, and this time we are going to get. Okay. And then for the URL, this is the one. Okay. Again, this is the same. I'm just um, calling the minimax request, and then this is the request ID. Just drag and drop this part. Okay. Okay. Let me remove this. All right. Then for the authentication, um, just use the same one as the previous note. Generic credential type, header auth. And then we can just choose the fail AI account. Okay. All right, we can click test app. Okay, nice. Let's check the file. Nice, it's pretty good. Five seconds. Great, so that's it for today. This is a quick tutorial for this NIM workflow that can generate this viral cat trapping rat uh, video. So try to steal this as soon as possible. Let me know if you have any questions in the community and comment below and let me know what you think about this video or what kind of other videos that you would like to see. So I will see you next time.